I want us to go to specific because, I mean, I understand you're here and when you come like this, it's important for us to have some really proper insight into the work you do. So let's talk about guns, the availability of guns in Lagos State. People just seem to be, I mean, we know it's illegal, but what are you doing to combat the purchase and acquisition of guns? Because people just seem to have guns. I mean, you just say all these hoodlums carrying guns here and there. What, what, what's the police doing or to even trace the sources of these guns? What, do, we, do we have intelligence on how these things are even getting to the hands of civilians in the first place? Mm -hmm. And what, what are we, what's, what's being done about it? Well, we, you re recollect that there has been a uh, total ban on, I mean, gun carrying. The uh, last two years or three years, the federal government said, everybody carrying firearms should, uh, I mean, submit to the federal government or the state government. And that has largely been done. Uh, we, despite that, we still see that guns are just all over the place, mm -hmm. caught boys and all whatnot. But I must tell you that we are working very hard on that. We have arrested many of these boys with guns, and we have an intelligence of where they keep these guns. We've recovered many. I, I remember last, last year uh, in Abuja, so many thousands of guns that were recovered by, by the police, were displayed by this particular mm -hmm. police. Yeah. So we are still on that. We have our intelligence network to recover these guns. And our officers and men all over the country are recovering guns every May day. May I add quickly uh, that? And oh. we will not stop at that. We continue to, because as we recover, so the guns are coming in. Because, uh, uh, because uh, I know our borders are very porous. Mm. There are so many road paths they can come in with. So maybe they are coming in from these borders yeah. and uh, with all this. But I must tell you that we are very much on that. Okay. And we are recovering a lot of guns. We, and we are mopping them out of the We took a story, uh, story last um, two weeks on gun fabricated here. Mm. You know, so local ones. Some local ones. What are you doing to, to go to the sources of these guns? Most of the time when they arrest, they're not even... Um, Foreign media, they're now yeah. manufacturing oh, yes, yes. weapons here. Yes, we are aware of that. <coughs> and, uh, I must say, you have arrested many uh, local man, man, man fabrication, I mean, fabricating uh, industry. We have arrested many. I like the way you said they, industry they are because I was worried about the fact that we, are, we shouldn't just deal with the people that are using it. But we should use them to get to those who are making it. Making it, yes. Then those manufacturing it. We, we, we've arrested many. And and so, so how do we help those people that are manufacturing it? I don't think we have enough um, guns, even in the police system. Is there any way that they can also help the Nigerian police system? Yes, there are many ways. There are many ways. We have Nigerian uh, uh, defense industries uh, in Kaduna. Okay. Uh, the government can decide to tap on the ingenuity of these gun manufacturers, uh -huh. co op them into the system, system and then make use of them. And if we are able to do that, I think we can produce most of the guns locally, yes. the K47 or whatnot.